Hello. Hello, Mr. Go. Hello. Smile to gender. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys, we're here in Islamabad's food street, it's called Melody Food Street and we're here for the old classic halwa puri and puri is like a butter chapati, really thin, let me show you how it's made, well they've got ready made here The roads of Islamabad, remind you a lot about the roads in England, but there's a lot more greenery here. So guys, here are the mountains, the Margala Mountains. Inshallah, in a few minutes, we'll be on them. Look at that, they look quite the sight. And Alhamdulillah, the weather has cooled down as well look at this guys that looks amazing apparently there's a lot of monkeys there as well not uh, our friends on the motorcycle but actual uh, real life monkeys that is greenery on another level mate <laughs> made a new friend Hi. Basel Mosque all the way from there. Look at that. Look at this guys. We have seven kilometers left until we reach uh, it's a place higher than Damneko, uh, which is right in the middle. We're actually going to a place called Pir Suhawa for the English folk and Pir Suwa for the uh, Urdu slash Punjabi folk so Pir Swawa is where we're going and uh, that is all the way up there folks so we're gonna go and uh, here's what we've traversed so far Allahu Akbar look at that look at that I'm here with my cousin's husband Aslam Bai Hi how are you? <laughs> These guys are making the full use of that vehicle. Look at that. There's people hanging off the back, there's people on the roof. There's probably people in the boot. People everywhere. Hello. Hello, Mr. Go. Hello. We got some mountain goats. And you got some mountain people as well. This guy at the back over there. Speechless. Have a look at that. All different types of trees perfectly complementing each other. Not this uh, branch in the middle that makes them all look quite bad. But look at that. All these people living in the valley of the mountain. Some people even walk up here. How long do you think it's going to be down to the bottom? So it takes about two, two and a half? Yeah. Two, two and a half hours if you had to walk from the bottom all the way up. So I do a bit of uh, hiking. Look at that. Good old fashioned hiking. Uh, hope there's some juice up there or at least the uh, this, at least if I discover Bigfoot or the Yeti it doesn't make any sense because the Yetis are only in snow areas we keep going all the way to the top we got a white man coming he's probably lost I see light the end of the tunnel. There you go, some refreshments. No fridge, just some random biscuits over there. And some crisps. Okay. Uh, look at that. 
This is true trekking guys. As you're traversing and trekking, you get to see this fantastic view on the side. Look at that. Breathtaking view. And you never hear of these areas. This is known scientifically as uh, the poo. <laughs> Someone uh, might have got a bit excited while they were trekking. And uh, you know, let it rip. The temperature, let's see, is on 35.6 degrees. Oh, but the trek is amazing. It uh, would have been very wise for us to pour a drink. My moustache is uh, very moist from all the sweat. Look at that. That is simply breathtaking. Ooh, look at that. I didn't sit here. My partner in crime is tired. Wow, look at that. Let's get it in focus for you guys. Look at that. What a view. Gawa? Ah, proper bird's eye view, look at that. We are on our way down now. Whew. That was a, a long trek. And a guy who's uh, hopefully not going to shoot me behind me. You can see people everywhere Baba, no, doing uh, some raw trekking. That's the route down, guys. There it is. And that's it, guys. We're at the bottom now. Here is the mosque, guys. If you don't believe me, let me show you inside. Look at that. What a mosque. I'm <laughs> loving the roof. Got some good ventilation here. Mashallah. People praying their Dhuhr Salah. Mashallah. Very nice. I think it's time I did the same. We are currently in the middle of the Margala Mountains, and this place is called Damne Ko. It's like the tourist resort where there's rides and uh, tuck shops and uh, little picnic areas where people come to sit, chill and eat with family. Mashallah. And they enjoy the view of course. Look at that. We've come in the middle of the day. It's 1.50 and the temperature is hitting 38 degrees. It's very hot. But it's quite lovely as well. A lot of people taking pictures and selfies with the typical Pakistani pose, which is just staring at the camera. Or if it's uh, she's a woman, like that. It's well kept as well. It's nice and clean. Look at that. Nice flowers. And you got other mountains surrounding us. That's why Islamabad is nice and cool. Because of the mountains, it rains on a regular basis here. That's why it's a nice cool area. And that's it folks. We're on our way down from the Margala Mountains. So we went through Damneko all the way to Pir Swawa. And now we're on our way down. This is the last steep hill. Hopefully we'll make it down alive guys. Inshallah you've enjoyed it. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's lots of sites like this. And inshallah we'll try to explore as much as we can. Being the awesome people that we are, of course, we're going through the scenic route. This is a bridge made out of steel. Look at that. Look at the scene. There, there is no scene. Like I say, only in Pakistan 
after that strenuous climb, I think it's time for ice cream shake. Yum yum. We are passing a very famous dam in Islamabad. It's called Rawal Dam. Look at that. You got some naked guys in there washing in this filthy brown water. Nice. And look at that. That looks simply wonderful. If it focuses. There you go. Ooh, you have to put it Yeah, but this guy has uh, caught some fish. <laughs> what a legend. No, Bonito.